All right, so today we're going to be going over approvals with actionable messages, and we're going to use Power Automate to execute this. So actionable messages is a way to send custom forms within an Outlook email. That way you can do things without leaving the, the Outlook interface and submit details like comments or messages uh, from a click away. So this is just a quick overview of what we're going to do. We're going to customize the actionable message in a designer. I'll show you the website right now. There's a bunch of templates and we're going to use one for this demo. Then we're going to create a flow to receive the approval trigger. This is just so that since we're already in the designer, we'll add the URL. And then um, that's what's going to receive the data from the button. And then we're going to create another flow to format and send the actionable message. So whatever it's going to get outputted in the designer, we'll copy, format it, and send it in an email. First step, I go to my browser, put actionable message designer. Come here. So you can see there's a couple samples. You can also start from zero, but I'm going to use this one. I like the vacation approval one. So right here on the bottom, I have my edit JSON payload. This is what I'm going to copy when I'm done formatting. There's a couple of things I want to make sure I have. So this submit button is my submit for the approve action set. Um, right here, you have that tree editor, so you can see as well. Here is what I'm going to put the URL of my flow, and this is how my body is going to get sent. Um, so this is just how we see this is the approve, and there's another set for the decline. So here, I'm not going to fill this out yet because we're going to go and create the flow. But here, I'm going to format this. We need this to be formatted like this. And this to be formatted like this. And this, all it is, is the ID of this um, text box. So if you really start looking into it, you can add more elements and get the ID and then obviously extract its value. So that's how we're going to do it here. And then we're going to go to the client and do the same thing. Make sure that there's a format that we like. So we're going to use double quotes. If not, it's going to get messed up in Power Automate. All right. So we have double quotes around that. Should be good. Now, the headers. This is also important. I have to go back to the other one. We need an authorization. We could leave this empty. If you want to handle that, you can do it also. But just for this demo, content type. Application. So it's important. These headers are important. I almost forgot. Go back here, do the same thing. Add my headers. So, like I said, I'll leave that empty. And then content type and then application JSON. Okay, so I'm almost ready. Now I need that URL. So I'm gonna go here to my Power Automate. I'm gonna create a new flow. I'm gonna call trigger get approval response. And this trigger here is going to be when an HTTP request is received. So when I save this, I'll get a URL here. I want to make sure my method here is post so I can receive data. And then here, I'm going to, for now, just output the body because I want my URL before I do anything else. So I save this. All right, so I saved, I got my URL, copy that, come here to the approve action set, click on the submit. Oh, I'm on the decline now. Approve, copy that in here, come to the decline, copy that in here. And then it should be all set, authorization, content type, my body is formatted correctly. My body's formatted correctly. All right, I'm ready to go. So now I am going to copy everything here. What I did is created that flow, added the URL, and now I'm ready to go. So copy all of that. Come here to Power Automate. 
create a new flow. This one I can manually trigger. So I'm going to grab a compose action to save what I copied. Then I'm going to wrap it in a script. Here's type equals communication that code. And then here I put that JSON. So uh, I'll make sure to put this in the description, but this is what you're going to have to wrap that output that you get from the designer. Then you come here, close it, and then you're ready to send the email. So send email. So now I'll put the compose one, just to reiterate, here I put the output from the actionable message designer, then I wrap it, and then I put it in my body. So now I'm going to save and send. So that finished running. Now I go to my Outlook. I got the testing email right now, 1057. I click on it. I have this beautiful format. Approve. I want to say uh, this looks good. Enjoy. Oh, not enjoy because it's going to the hospital. This looks good. Submit. This action was completed successfully. So now if I go to the first flow, which receives the response, you can see that it ran. And I have my output here. So it depends what you're going to want to send over. You can send the ID of the record that you might want to change in the database. And it's up to you what happens from here on out. But just that you have this connection, this interface from the email to a flow is what I was, what we we're trying to show here in this demo. So that's, that's pretty much it.